a hydroplane boat, uh, this is a three-point hydro, so when it's going long, it just runs on three very small contact patches, and that keeps the drag really low uh, while keeping it stable. It's a luxury hydroplane, and so far, all hydroplanes have just been racing boats. So much like uh, a certain tractor manufacturer decided to take mid-engine cars and take them from racing and put them into production, uh, we're doing the same with hydroplanes and that guy was called Lamborghini, so we're trying to do the same sort of thing here, on a much smaller scale, obviously. This boat isn't actually as fast as it looks. I mean, this is not a racing boat, it's just a toy for showing off in and having fun. Uh, this boat maxes out at about 60 knots, um, but it accelerates like nothing else. It's powered by a 750 horsepower V8. We're a startup, um, so this has just been a part-time project so far and we're looking to take orders so we can actually go into production or maybe get some investment in the company to help us with that. The shape of this boat um, is loosely based on an unlimited hydroplane, which is an American racing class, uh, but this is uh, a lot tamer, so this has much more freeboard, much steeper angles of dead rise, so you, you can actually go out and use it in, in a bit of chop. Uh, the profile was actually designed using CAD, then re refined using computational fluid dynamics, so we've got a really low coefficient of drag. Inside the boat, um, we're trying to make it what you would find in an Italian supercar. So, not necessarily luxury, but mad design, comfortable seats, uh, bright materials, there's loads of laser cut parts inside. This boat will take four people um, and no more, and that's not very many people for such a big boat, but it's not a practical machine. A real version, bear in mind this is just a prototype, uh, the properly finished version would be about 120,000. It's a leisure boat, it's not a practical means of transport. If you're honest with yourself, it's for showing off and having fun. So if you want a small boat, you want one of these. I think there is a gap in the market for this, um, it's a niche product, there's nothing else like it. Uh, I've been interested in designing boats since I was very young, but making radio controlled boats and uh, all through my youth building, progressing on to building silly boats just in my shed and uh, so this is a culmination of all of that. From, from here on what we have to do is get all our moulds perfect, uh, so we've got a bit of work over winter to do that. Um, we might have sold a few for the start of next year, so then we'll be going into production. Um, we might be getting some investment, we don't know yet, We've, we're in talks, but we're open to investment to help us get into a unit and really get into full-scale production.